Sex Pistols John Lydon has heartbreakingly revealed what he has done with his late wife's ashes. Nora Forster was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2018, and the punk rocker became her full-time carer until her tragic death, aged 80, in April this year. John admitted it was much harder than he thought dealing with Nora's death as the couple had been married for almost 50 years, and he told the Times he is using her ashes to help him process her passing. I thought I would be able to handle this side of it, but it is, if anything, worse. I like to sleep with Nora's ashes in the cupboard next to the bed because there is no expectancy of meeting her in this life again, he sadly shared in an interview with the Times. He added, now I don't have anyone to share my life with. I am sitting in an empty house and all I can think about is Mark Common singing The House is Haunted by the Echo of Your Last Goodbye. Might as well go back out on tour. Reflecting on how he and his beloved wife managed to go the distance throughout his chaotic lifestyle and showbiz career, John said, I have seen relationships crash around me, especially when fame is involved, and I cannot help but think people were too flippant about their life partners. Nora and I argued a great deal but the arguments were so stunning that they made life worthwhile, and we were always honest and open about everything. Back in April, Nora's death was announced in an emotional post on Twitter, as John asked for space to allow him to grieve. Rest in peace Nora Forster. It is with a heavy heart that we share the sad news that Nora Forster, John Lydon's wife of nearly five decades, has passed away. Nora had been living with Alzheimer's for several years in which time John had become her full-time carer, the tweet added. In 2020, the former Sex Pistols frontman revealed he had taken on the role of carer to his wife, as he said he didn't want anyone else to do it for fear of it messing up her head. He said the degenerative condition was a permanent hangover for his wife, and it was hard seeing Nora deteriorate because the person I love is still there every minute of every day and that is my life. Earlier this year, John said he had been deeply changed by taking care of his wife, but said their life together, almost five decades, had been worth every moment. It's hideous. So pernicious and vile to watch someone you love just slowly disappear, he told the Sunday Times. No joy comes without pain and, boy, do I know that now," John agonizingly added. John met Nora, who was a German heiress who later became a music promoter, in 1975 at Vivian Westwood's King's Road Shop Sex, and four years later, they wed. Despite being warned off each other by friends, John said they had an immediate connection. When we met we didn't expect to get on. But blimey. Sparks flew. It was instant attraction, he told The Guardian. 